So now that we have our recapture token, we can use this to send a request through to the Google Recapture API, get back that information and determine whether this is a pass or fail. So what we can do is just start to grab the response back. We can use the HTTP facade within Laravel to do this. So let's go ahead and just make sure we pull the namespace in for this. And we're gonna go ahead and make a request as form data. And we're gonna post through to the Google Recapture API, which I have in my notes just over here. And this is under the API and it's site verify. Now we are gonna be refactoring this to a validation rule because of course for every controller, within your app or every place that a form is submitted, you don't want to have to repeat all of this code. So the data that we're sending through here is of course the secret, which we had from earlier. We need to authenticate this request. So let's go ahead and open up and grab the secret key. And once again, we are going to be putting this inside of our config a little bit later. And the response here is basically just the value that we got back from that form, which is recapture token. So let's go ahead and die dump on this response. And we actually need to go ahead and specify that we want this as JSON and we should be good. Let's go over and try this out. So we've got a few bits of information in here. A really important point to make is success doesn't necessarily mean this has passed. Success just means that the request to the API has passed. So do not use this piece of data to determine whether you should proceed with the form submission. Now we've got the host name here, which is pretty self-explanatory. We've got the timestamp that this particular request was submitted on, the score and the action as well. The Really the only useful piece of information we have here that we want to use is the score. This goes from zero to one and the higher the score, the more likely this isn't a bot. So obviously us submitting this, particularly within a, a development environment, has come back at 0.9. So what we can do is we can implement some kind of threshold to determine whether we want to continue. Let's look at an example of this really, really quickly, and then we'll of course refactor this out to a validation rule that we can use for lots of different forms. So we're gonna go ahead and say, if not response success, remember that is whether the response uh, or the request actually worked or not. This is really up to you. If the request wasn't successful, you might just want to allow the user through anyway. It's really up to you what you do here. The most important one is the threshold. So we're gonna go ahead and say response score, and we're gonna go ahead and say, well, if this is less than a particular threshold, we don't wanna continue. So for example, you might set this at 0.7. We're gonna allow this to be customized as well within the validation rule that we're gonna create, and we can return false. Now this isn't gonna do much at the moment because of course what we're doing is just within a controller, but we can see this in action now if we go back to posts create, if we hit create post, sure enough, that works. But if, for example, we set the threshold to one and we go ahead and send this across, we just see nothing in here. So we just get an empty page because we've returned false. So now that we've got the general idea of how to make a request through to the Google Recapture API and get this information out, let's move this over to a custom validation rule, which of course means we can reuse this wherever we want.